Chang and Daniel Negreanu now separating themselves in chip count from Scotty Wynn and John Stoltzman. That's right. And the antes have gone up to $5,000. The blinds being 25 and 50. Action's going to be on John Stoltzman. He looks down at the five, four, and folds. Around to Chow. Looks at Jack seven and folds. Scotty Wynn. Just Queen Jack this time. Is right, and I move on. Look at this. He's not fooling around. Okay. He's putting it all together. out there with the Queen Jack. 455,000. Uh, I, I want to so see sweat what you have. So far, I got a good one. Another one like that or an ace. And we're coming for sure. I want you coming, baby. Eight and <laughs> ah, three across. And look at this. Oh, Daniel wait. has king eight of clubs. <laughs> so, I, I want him to come and believe me. Oh boy, hmm. well, Scotty says I want him to come in. How much this you got total? I think Scotty should just zip it. He's going to give Daniel Negrano a lot of information there. Vance, it's Three, a little over 400000 for Daniel to call here. So that's four oh five, right? Mm -hmm. More? Can you make this kind of call with just a king and an eight? He wouldn't think so. Huh. Well, that would be uncanny. These ones are pretty. <laughs> but uh, he's thinking this is tasty. I can bust my friend out of here. Everything I see is matched from now on. Uh, in. The only way he can make this call in my mind, Vince, is if absolutely he thinks Scotty is just making some kind of steam raise. Because this would Daniel be a crazy call. took the pot away from him last time. You can't make you no you you can't make move no more. <laughs> I think you're bluffing. Bad. Like you might have like nine four. <laughs> <laughs> Very bad. Either that or ace junk. He's got nine four or ace junk. A three. Upshoot. Let's gamble with the kid. Why not? Oh, boy. Can you believe this? Just amazing. Yeah, hold him with the king hand. It's the best hand. I got you by a nose, bro. You did. <laughs> However it comes out, he knows junk, he's made the right junk, call though. here with he's just the king eight. If you win, you're back in it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, these guys used to be friends, but when you're playing for 1.5, friends are overrated. But folks, to call $400,000 with king high, that takes a lot of heart and a lot of poker instincts, and certainly Daniel negrano has got both of those things. Here we go with the flop. Well, flop comes Jack 10-10. Scotty has outflopped him. He now has the lead, and Daniel is going to have to catch a king or two running cards to make a straight or a flush to take Scotty out right now. A little break for Scotty Wynn. Catches Jack's in tens. Here comes the turn card. Nine club you don't want. Can it hold up? Nine of clubs is good. Well, 90 Dang. diamonds on the turn. Now, what that means is Daniel must catch a queen or a seven to make a straight to win this pot. If a king comes up, that will give Scotty a straight, and therefore Daniel couldn't win then. Well, right now, the way Daniel's going, he could outdraw Picasso. Let's see if he does it here. No, he doesn't. A three comes up. He couldn't hit the open end of straight to take out Scotty win. Scotty lives on to fight some more. So a little bit of justice for the Prince of Poker, Scotty Wynn, a five-time World Poker Tour final table player. Will this be his night? This guy is one of the great tournament players in the world, no question about it. Once again, he has over a million in chips. And action's going to be on Daniel Negrano, Kid Poker, this time Queen Deuce of Diamonds. Well, he lays it down. All right to John Stoltzman. I notice he's got the same hand that Daniel just had, the King Eight of Clubs, and he's going to raise it. Makes it 200,000 to go. Very popular hand right now. Now Chow peeks down as a 9-4 offsuit. Well, Chow folds. Now we're around to Scotty. He looks down at 9-8 of spade. It's kind of hand you want to see a flop with, but it's going to cost Scotty another 150,000 to call here. Raise my black every hand there, baby. You going him, baby? <laughs> Mine. Oh, boy, he's going over wow. the top with it. Scotty going all in here. I'm a little surprised by this play, Vince. His opponent only has 370,000 left. So because of the pot odds, he could very well make this call with the king eight, even if he thought it was the worst thing. I call hand. everybody, baby, Vince, baby, as long as they give me the chip, I call him baby. <laughs> well, it is an interesting raise. Can he get John Stoltzman out of this pot? I mean, mathematically, you're going to get called in this spot most of the time here, and you don't want to move all in with nine high in that situation, but, you know, he's hoping John will save his money and fold right here. I know that he would be great enough to make this call. <laughs> That's right, baby. Daniel would have called me so fast. 
Well, John knows he's on the short stack. Thank you, baby. He's up against three true Goliaths of the poker world. His lines are so big. He knows in terms of odds, it's unlikely he's going to be more than a two to one underdog with a king eight in his hand. At some point, he's going to have to gamble if he's going to try to catch up and beat these guys. Is he going to do it here? There's so much money in there, I'm just going to gamble. Well, he's gambling. Scotty is a substantial underdog now to win this pot. He has 9-8, his opponent has king-8. And that is just a crushing call for Scotty Wynn. Well, Scotty might have made a tactical error there in moving all in. Because of the pot odds, you have to assume your opponent's going to call you. A very possible debacle here for Scotty Wynn. Well, let's see if he can get lucky here. If so, John Stoltz want to be our fourth place finisher. If not, Scotty Wynn will be on the short stack. Oh, a nightmare flop for Scotty. It's come ace, king, ten with two clubs. This debacle continues. John has two kings in the nut flush draw, and the only way Scotty can win this pot is to catch two running cards on 4th and 5th Street that help his hand. He's got a backdoor, a flush, or a straight, or nines and eights, and a four diamonds, that's it. It doesn't matter what comes on the river. John Stoltzman is going to double up right here. Well, and Scotty must be wondering, what was I thinking there, moving all in in that situation? Just making mistakes. Just mistiming things. Tough time right now at Tunica for Scotty Wynn. Well, he is on the short stack right now, but I can tell you, he is one of the great short stack players in the world, so he's down, but not out. We will see. Fasten your seatbelts. Here we go again. Action on John Stoltzman. Looks down at Jack, too. Doesn't want any part of it. When I still got, got chip, they all worry. Chow, who's been very calm and patient here, staying out of the fray, folds a jack six. Damn, I still got 400,000. That's, uh, that's a lot of dying, baby. <laughs> that's you know, a lot of looks down at ace high, baby. and he's going to move <laughs> in with it. <laughs> Call that, you don't like no money. Now we're around to Daniel yeah, Negreanu. You wouldn't believe the first card I sweat. Call that, he don't like no well, money. Same one that's been the king of clubs. Well, well, look at this. Club. Can you believe this, Vince? That's the third consecutive yeah, time club. Scotty Moen's right. moved all in, and the third yeah, time his yeah. opponent yeah. has picked up king eight of clubs. Yeah, yeah, club. <laughs> this is too bizarre. <laughs> it's all good, baby. Please call. Please call. Daniel just can't believe he's seeing the same hand as we can. 300. Is that even possible? Remember, Daniel called him last time with King Eddie Close for nearly 400,000. It's going to cost him 380,000 to call him again. What can he lay down? He called me 600,000 with King Eight. You think he's going to lay down? 380? This is so bizarre. 380,000. How bizarre? So bizarre. Daniel's pondering here. I lost with this hand the last time. He won with it. That's right. This is spooky, dude. I will win again. Guess what I got? Daniel's in again. 380? That's right. And he is making the call. Yes, he has. So for the third time in a row, Scotty's gone all in, and their opponent is called with the king eight of clubs. But this time, Scotty has the best hand. That is correct. Scotty win going on the bipolar ride this evening. Back and forth. Can he get lucky and double up? Because he is on the ropes right now. Well, nearly 900,000 out there. So if he can win this pot, he is right in the thick of things. If That's not, Scotty Wynn's going to be our fourth place finisher. Okay. Give me the flop he had. Or no, wait, you flopped an ace that time. Give me a different flop. <laughs> That's right, baby, different flop. All go. right, well, here it comes is. the flop. Oh, oh. King 8 5. King 8 oh. five, Daniel has flopped the top two pair. Scotty has flopped bottom pair. Just painful there for Scotty Wynn. Well, you see the look on Scotty's face. He knows he's got to catch an ace or a five right now to stay alive in this tournament. Absolutely devastating. Two cards away from being body bagged. Nine of spades on the turn. That's not going to do it. Nope. So Scotty is down to the river card. He is going to drown unless it's an ace or a five right here and go out in fourth place. Can he pull off the miracle? No, he's not going to do it. Seven of spades comes off. 
So the popular Scotty Wynn is going to go out again in fourth place. The crowd mesmerized here job, as to how fast the action's been these last few hands where everybody calling, not betting, calling an all-in bet with a king eight. Amazing. And look at this. A standing ovation for the Why Prince of Poker, Scotty Wynn. A great, great, entertaining poker player, a champion. He's our fourth-place finisher. Yeah, he'll pick up $346,000.